Hey guys, all right, so a couple years ago, I did a video about bow fishing reels. Um, I did kind of a comparison between like the AMS bottle reel, the muzzy reel, the two different styles of muzzy reels that there are, and then also uh, a little bit about the Mega Mouth. Uh, I didn't have a lot of experience with the Mega Mouth, but I did actually weigh the Mega Mouth because I know that is a big thing. Everybody's wondering about the weight of the Mega Mouth because it looks big and bulky. Uh, go back and watch that video. I did find out that the Mega Mouth basically weighs exactly the same as a muzzy when you put on the real seat. So anyhow, if you're interested in that video, go on back. But in that video, I had just purchased this setup right here, the Muzzy Tournament Reel along with the Muzzy Tournament Real Seat. Um, and I hadn't had any experience with it yet, so I really didn't have a lot of uh, information on it, but I've been shooting this setup now for two years, I believe it is, and I think I'm ready to kind of give my thoughts and my opinions on, on these two independent pieces. So I'm gonna start off with the Muzzy Tournament Reel. So basically the Muzzy Tournament Reel comes with uh, the typical push button on the back. Muzzy did have the other option that had the lever up here that goes left and right. Um, the tournament reel does not come with that. You can change it over to that if, if you're really particular and you like that setup. You can change this reel over to that, but it comes from Muzzy with the push button. At the time, I really liked the, the lever back and forth. Um, I didn't feel like messing around and, and changing that out and putting the button on it or the, the lever, back and forth lever. So I stuck with this and honestly, I got to the point where I like this better. So. Um, my big thing was I don't have really big hands. I didn't know if I was gonna have, my fingers were gonna be really long enough to, to reach that button. There was no problems, even with these small little 12 year old hands. So anyhow, um, that was not an issue. Um, it's black, um, that's how you really can tell, you know, that it's the Muzzy Tournament Reel. The other thing on the outside that is drastically different is the handle. The original, muzzy handle was made out of metal. Um, that thing had a bad habit of bending. Um, if you, you know, you beat your bow around in the boat, in the truck, whatever, and you shoot a fish and you go to reel, and that handle would have, would have bent, and when you'd go to reel, you'd be hitting the outside of the housing, and you'd have to, you know, crank that thing back, bend it back. Um, when I bought this reel, um, the, the new handle, I believe, is made out of carbon fiber. At least that's what it looks like. It, it might not actually be carbon fiber, but that's what it looks like. Um, for some reason, yeah, I wasn't picking up the, the reason for that. I don't know why, but the very first one of these that I had, I actually changed out the, the handle. I took this carbon fiber one off and I put the other one on because I felt like this was kind of chintzy. The, the size of this handle is kind of small, you know. I was concerned that it was going to crack, that it was going to break. Um, but then this one, I left that on and I figured out real quick, well, yeah, that carbon fiber, it bends, it flexes, and it doesn't break, it doesn't crack. And I so good on Muzzy for that. I was just being a dumbass. And, and not using my brain on that part of it. So, um, so yeah, the the handle is definitely improved. I definitely like the handle. The other improvement that I really like, I really appreciate, is it's got the bigger mouth. Um, the original muzzy reel, the the hole that the line comes out is considerably smaller than that. On the tournament reel, it comes with the bigger diameter. So I really, really did like that. Um, so that's basically the breakdown on the outside of the reel. Uh, honestly, all in all, I really like all the changes that they made. Um, there's several changes there that, that I think were really good. So uh, let's go to the inside now. Um, on the inside of the Muzzy Tournament Reel, they put 
a anti-reverse uh, bearing back here in the back. Uh, I have not tore one of these apart yet, so I can't tell you really much about it. I just know that they did change that, and that is a big deal. Anybody that spent uh, much time shooting the, the Muzzy Reels knows that you can tear out the anti-reverse gear. Um, and when that gear gets tore out, there, you, you did the, the fish will just rip the line out um, if you take your hand off the reel and it'll just keep ripping and it, it won't stop, um, stop the fish. So with that anti-reverse bearing in there, that made all the difference in the world. I do have a, a, a muzzy reel on my boat that has the anti-reverse gear ripped out of it and I haven't changed that and fixed it yet. Um, luckily, if you guys have old muzzy reels, you can get that new bearing and put in the old reels. Um, so again, good on muzzy for, you know, allowing for those types of things. I think that's great. Um, you know, made changes and, and made it so that you could go back and fix older, older versions of stuff. I think that's great. Um, so yeah, several things there. Now, the last thing that I want to talk about that Muzzy did with this tournament reel that did not work, at least for me. Uh, maybe there's other ones out there that did, but the pickup pins. At first I thought it was great when I found out Muzzy put two pickup pins on the inside of this thing. The old ones only had one pickup pin, then they went a step further and they made those pickup pins stainless steel instead of plastic. That was always been a big problem with the Muzzy Reels is if you forget to push the button and you shoot it, there's a likelihood you could break the pickup pins on the inside. And then you'd have to, on the fly, you'd have to fix those pickup pins. So, putting two pickup pins and making them stainless steel Man, I thought, I thought that, was, that was awesome. I thought that was gonna be the ticket. Right out of the gate, as soon as I shot this thing, the pickup pins aren't milled quite right or something, I'm not sure. But even when the button is pushed, they still stick out just enough that when you shoot, the line was actually hitting those pickup pins, even when the button was pushed. And I was like, wow, they went to all that trouble to, to, to make it better just to have that little, that little bit make it not even work. Now, like I said, I, I'm have, I had that problem. I seen other guys that had that problem, but I don't know if they were all that way. It's, it wasn't a big deal to, uh, I just, I had several of the pickup pin, um, I don't know what it's called, it's the, the thing that the pickup pin goes on the inside of. I have several of them already set up with the old style pickup pins. I just took the new one off, slammed the old one on, good to go. So from that aspect, uh, that is the only complaint I have about the Muzzy tournament reel. Uh, other than that, man, I love this thing. I really, really, really like this thing. Um, I know, I know, I know. There's guys that are gonna cuss me. And, oh, you're dumb. Mega Mouth's the only way to go, and that's great. I, man, awesome. Mega Mouth is a freaking tank. Anybody that shoots a Mega Mouth, good on you. Um, for me personally, I don't shoot big, big fish. You know, but most of the fish that I shoot are between 15 and 30 pounds. That's typically what I'm shooting, and I have no problems using the, the Muzzy tournament reel or any Muzzy reel for that matter doing that. You know, if you shoot bigger fish than that, if you shoot more often where you're stripping these things out and trashing them and you want to use a Mega Mouth, go for it. I recommend, I like, I like the Muzzy reel. All right, moving on. The next thing, this guy right here, the Muzzy tournament uh, real seat. Man, I want to talk about this thing. I was a skeptic when I, I, I was searching around for real seats. The, the Muzzy reels that I used to buy came with the stainless steel real seat already on them, um, built into the whole thing. Um, and I liked that because I didn't have to buy a real seat. I thought that was great. Well, I wanted this reel 
So I had to buy a real seat. So I started researching all the different real seats and they're kind of spendy. You could spend a little bit of money if you want to get a good one. And anybody that has ever messed with real seats knows that's an important thing. You cannot have a junk real seat. Don't spend a good money on, on a reel and not and then put it on some flimsy reel seat. That thing will twist and it, it won't set and lock onto the bow well and you'll just it'll just get you'll just fight it. Spend the money on a real seat. So I was I was searching around trying to find which one I wanted and I just kept coming back to this guy. Now before I even bought it, just looking at it online, I was a skeptic. I thought it looked big, I thought it looked bulky. Um, I thought it looked complicated. I thought there was a lot of BS going on on this thing that was just unnecessary. Um, there is a rail system back here that the front part goes onto and then you lock it down. That rail system is actually what mounts to the bow. And then on that rail system, it actually sandwiches the, the bow riser. Um, I was just like, man, I, seems like a lot, of, a lot of stuff. I wasn't sure, but Let's give it a try. So, the, the main thing about this real seat is it's a quick release. Right here on the bottom is a quick release. You just flip that and the reel comes right out. And, you know, if, if, you're, if your tournament fishing you know if you're in a tournament and you know you're you're doing numbers especially you number guys um you know time is money man and and if you do have a malfunction and you need to change that reel out quickly this reel this reel seat man it, it makes that possible you don't have to get out your wrenches and jack around and and it's just flip the switch and that thing's off new one's on and, and you're fishing again um so the concept of that is, is great and it, it, it works. Um, I do have a little bit of issue with it. The thing that I don't like about it is this right here. I don't know if you can see that. I cannot, I cannot get this thing tight enough to where this is, feels good and solid. It's always kind of wobbly. And I don't like that. I want that. I would like it to be just more solid than what I can get it. Um, is it a deal breaker? No. Uh, the other thing with that, that system, that mechanism that the lever comes down, on the inside of that, I can't really show you, but on the up inside of there, there's an adjustment screw. And you can screw that adjustment screw to make that more tight or, or less tight, however you want it. Um, and I, when I screw that to get it just as tight as I possibly can, it still doesn't help. But going back to that adjustment mechanism, that thing doesn't work the greatest. It, like right now, I was trying, I was just messing with it a few minutes ago, trying to get this thing tighter. That adjustment screw, I can't get it to move. And, and I've actually taken this thing apart about a month ago. I took this whole thing apart and I lubed everything. I lubed that adjustment screw and everything. And I still can't get that damn thing to, to turn now. Um, that's frustrating for me. I, I would like them to, to work on that and get that to where um, it, it, it turns easier, I guess, if you will. Um, so that is one, one little complaint, actually kind of two little complaints that I have about the the muzzy tournament real seat um, up front here it does accept a shoot through rod i'm running the tje shoot through rods uh, i love the tje through shoot through rod man i think uh, i've got these on every one of my bows and man i i wouldn't i wouldn't shoot a bow fishing bow without without that guy on there there's a huge difference um, so then let's go back here to the back of the of the real seat. This system right here that I was telling you about, let's see if I can get in front of the camera, I suck at this. Um, right here, this is the piece that actually attaches to the bow riser. Um, it is like a rail system and then the bolt goes through the middle of the rail system and that rail system then sandwiches 
the, the riser and then there's little set screws on each side of that to, to keep that thing tight, to keep it from, to keep the, um, the, the real seat from, from turning and spinning, which is one of the things that I was talking about earlier. When you buy a cheap real seat, you cannot get those stupid things tight enough that when, you, when you're fighting a fish, it, the, the reel doesn't want to spin. So that system right there helps avoid that. Um, but man, it, it looks kind of big, it looks kind of bulky, it looks, the looks of it were really throwing me off. Um, but I went ahead and bought it, I went ahead and put the thing on, I've been shooting it for two years now, and I'm going to say I like it. I, I really do. Um, I would recommend, I would recommend this system, even though there's a couple things that I think they could work on, I'm not going to lie, I like this real seat. Um, it is, I thought it was going to be kind of heavy. I, I thought it was going to kind of add, you know, some weight to the front of the bow. It really doesn't. Um, when you, once you get it on there, man, it just, it just fits on there good. I, I like it. Um, if you want to talk about adding weight, look at my stupid battery. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm dumb. Got to have my green lights on the front here inside the, the cap. So talk about adding weight. But anyhow, that just goes back to, for some reason, I think I got to, I'll tell you why, I think I got to look cool. I'll tell you why, it's because I suck so bad. If I can't shoot fish, I at least want to try to look cool. But <laughs> either way, uh, so yeah, that is my rundown of the Muzzy Tournament Reel and the Muzzy Tournament Reel Seat. Um, man, in my opinion, I think it's a winner. I think it's a great combination. I think Muzzy has done some really, really good things with this reel and this reel seat. Uh, I did point out, <clears throat> I pointed out a couple things that I think they still have a little bit of work to do. Um, but I mean, all in all, it's a hell of a good setup. I beat the crap out of my stuff. I don't take the greatest care of it. And, and it's, it's held up for a couple years now. So uh, yeah, if, uh, if anybody has any comments or questions or smart ass comments or whatever you got, Drop them down there in the comment section. And uh, that's all I got for now, guys. Don't forget the butt plug.